I know you have the scrimmage today and then the, the practice, but can you just talk in general about what you feel you've been able to do out here at this stage of camp as you, as you prepare to go back to uh, Frisco? This stage of camp, you mean everything and all everything encompassing? Up to this point, oh, yeah. Well, I, I think. Going back, do you feel good about what you've been able to do out yeah, there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think so much of, about training camp is about getting your concepts in order, you know, and then getting the fundamentals and the techniques that are tied directly to those concepts. I mean, so much is made about plays and situations, um, you know, but plays and situations, you're able to work on that starting back in April. I mean, this is the time to really get into the, the nuts and bolts of, of the game of football. So, you know, this that's where our focus is. Our focus is on what concepts we're trying to run, but most importantly, that, you know, make sure we're hitting the menu of fundamentals and the techniques that apply. And, you know, that doesn't always equate to, you know, you know, what you're doing against what your competition is doing, you know. So I mean, just the fact that, you know, just the offensive line to me is always the biggest challenge because those guys really don't have the true opportunity to to work on, you know, the techniques and the fundamentals until you put the pads on. So, you know, that's been our focus throughout uh, camp. It's something especially starting once we put the pads on, and and it was definitely highlighted yesterday. Can you talk about trying to achieve those goals and challenge of this barnstorming nature of camp when you start in Oxnard yeah it's definitely a challenge I think like anything you know uh, you know stress is additive and you got to be in tune with that and I'm talking about the stress of traveling I mean that's that's something that uh, you factor into all those things and and I, I think clearly how we schedule uh, you know the players you know during these moments of travel and especially you know going going to Denver you know, playing in Mile High Stadium, all, you look at all those things and you really are weighed against the, the ability to have, you know, excellent competition uh, in, in this practice structure and, and obviously gives you an opportunity that, to focus on your on your younger players in the games. Uh, Jordan Lewis will be out this week. Um, so he has a hamstring injury. The goal, I mean, it's too it's too early really to tell. I mean, until he gets into the rehab process, but I think the immediate goal is to you know get him ready for week one. Oh yeah. Oh, I've, yeah. That, that you'll you'll see that today. You'll, you'll see a couple combinations today. But uh, yeah, the, the way we you know, handle the nickel, you know, we'll, you know, we'll run some base personnel. Uh, so it'll be you know be two other combinations of you know who's playing the nickel today. So uh, and this is you know this is healthy work. It, it pays forward, and uh, it'll be it'll be a good opportunity for our young guys. I mean, d- definitely. I, I think it just you know goes all the way back to your to your movement, uh, the movement part of your game. I mean, I, I you know it obviously didn't didn't affect anything in the drop back area. So I, I think yeah, you're seeing the full menu of things that uh, you kind of built up to last year. So you know, it's not that we didn't do it uh, in the regular season. We're just getting a lot more work at it. You know, in training camp. I mean, it's so important. You know, always is. I mean, the connection between the quarterback and the in in all, in all the positions. You know, especially the perimeter and pass the game. I mean, you just uh, you know you can't get enough time together. I mean, I just when you have receivers, you know, mispractice. You know, those are opportunities that you you have to find you know find ways to uh, to, to to get those reps back. I mean, that's something very conscientious of. And I think really going back to the spring, you know, Dak does such a great job away from you know away from the facility and. You know the the off campus workouts are, are are so beneficial. What's my definition of a franchise quarterback? Yeah, um, you know I, I think number one, I mean they're they're winners um, and they can do more than play the position, uh, and and I think Dak's an ex- excellent example of that. You know he's, you know there's there's a lot of responsibility that goes into. Being the face of the, of the franchise, and you know, obviously, uh, you know, what we do on the field is is, is ultimately what we're judged by. But you know, he he carries a tremendous uh, volume of responsibility. You know, so far, uh, so far from the field too, and, and uh, I think he does an excellent job of that. How much difference is the plan today? Are we talking about today compared to yesterday? I would. I, you'll, you'll see a very similar plan. You know, I think. Uh, you know, our. You know, we're we're five minutes later. Do you notice that? Yeah, sure you did. All right, so if we're going to start five minutes later than we did yesterday. Uh, just so we, we removed one of the, the early periods. Um, so 
Uh, there won't be any one-on-one -on -one today, but you'll see more red zone work today. AB has played slot plenty of times in his career before. Is it safe to say, if, if you're trying to get Jordan ready for week one, would you rather see other guys try to fill that role before you think about moving him? Late arriver, yes, we uh, talked about that on the first question, but uh, he's... Uh, You'll, you'll see him today. Yeah, no, he'll, he'll be part of that. We're going to go two different combinations, and he'll be in there today. You'll still kick That's today? Right. You'll still kick today? Yes, we'll okay, kick today. With Prescott, I mean, he's gotten some better reviews. Do you have issues with him trying to Oh, no, that's a great question. I, I think, like anything, uh, I think the, the more success you have in this league, you know, just the ability to handle that success and, and stay patient, you know, especially when you got different combination of receivers and so forth. And, you know, and I, but I think, you know, uh, you know, just knowing Dak's personality, just the way he approaches everything, he's, you know, he's very consistent in what he does. So I think that's a huge strength of his. We always talk about every team is, is different and evolves differently. Yeah. Hey, have you started to, to build your identity this year? And if so, what, 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 kind of stands out to you at this point. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you always have to capture your play style, you know, and, and that's where the physicality and, you know, sometimes, you know, it's, it's not as disciplined as you would like early, uh, but that's that's a normal process. So, you know, capturing your play style, you know, in, in, you could talk about it all you want. I mean, you can you can do highlight tapes and, and all those things, but until you get in there and, you know, get the pads on, get the competition and, you know, get the pads down and, and have the adversity and, you know, the second and third reaction, uh, you know, contact balance, all those things. You, you don't get that until you get the pads on. So, yeah, that's, that's why it's a process. That's why we have a training camp. So uh, is is ours where we want it to be right now? No, no, but we, we're definitely on track to get it to where it needs to be, you know, once the season starts. Talk about CD's injury, how long do you expect him to be out? Uh, CD won't go today, uh, but, I, but I see him going next week. Oh, it's extremely valuable. I, I think the competition here is, is outstanding, and you know, especially for our, our, our younger guys. You know, and, I, and uh, I think every you know every second line in, in the National Football League needs you know probably twice as much work than that's available. I just think that's the landscape of our game right now, and uh, this has been phenomenal work against those guys. I mean, anytime you put you, you know put a performance on tape, it's important, you know. And, and obviously, the the preseason games are the the ones of the highest competition. So yeah, I mean, it's 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 the most important opportunity on the field for our players, all of our players, and and everybody recognizes that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.